16th note strum pattern there, the kind of a down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. The weird part is like where the E, D, E's are together in the box. And that means that those three chords happen in one measure in four beats. And I think it's kind of a, a E, like if you were doing, well, it's like E on the first beat, D on the second beat, and the third beat, and then you go back to the E as far as the split. So that's a little weird. If we were doing that with that strum pattern, the long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. I missed the first one, but I, I think this would work really good through the tune. You do the E with a down, do the D with a down, down, up, and then the up, down, and then the E with the down, up, down, up. Kind of dig on that. Seems really crazy. But E with a down, D, down, down, up, up, down, E, down, up, Too. So E down, D down, down, up, E on the up, down, down, up, down. Yeah, I guess that kind of works better. Let's see. E for beat one, D for beat two, and then back to the E. But that almost seems like a, uh, I think it's really a power chord hit, right? Something like that. Oh gosh, what did I do? I did first finger on the A, seventh fret, third finger on the D9. It's an E5 power chord, and you can even throw in the low E. And then kind of sliding it down to 5 and 7 for a D5 power chord on the A and D strings, 5 and 7. And then going back to the E. I think that's sort of the lick that's in the recording, right? The E, D, E, some, some kind of E, D, E thing there. But no. That works. But I think it's, it's 1, D for 2, and then back to the E for 1. Let's see. Pretty sure that's kind of how it, how it works there. So, so if you're doing just downs, you could just do eight downs on each of these chords. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So when you get to that part, you might want to do E for two, D for four, E for two. So E, two, D, two, three, four, D, two. That kind of thing for the ones in the boxes. And then all the Bs, you could do B7. You didn't want to have to worry about bar chords. That would be kind of cool. You could do it as a, I did it as a, as a B bar, second fret. First finger over the whole second fret, third finger over the D, G, and B strings. It's kind of a double bar for the B major. You can even make it a power chord thing, like doing the A string, second fret, and then third finger on the D, fourth fret. It's a B5 power chord. And if you're digging on the power chord thing, that could be really cool through the whole tune. You could do the A5 as open A and second fret on the D for the A chords. Because we only got those three chords. You got E's, D's, B's, and A's. So that could be kind of cool on that, right? So the standing on the bar, the E, D, E, A, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, A, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, A, E, B, E, B. So that, that would be kind of a cool way to work it if, you, if you're just starting out and like the bigger chords don't, you know, or the strum pattern seems slightly more complex. But I hope that, uh, hope that helps. Good request. Best of luck. Don't forget to subscribe.